prepared media plates and auger. The following presentation is by yours truly in aqua plates, prepared media plates. In this video, I'm going to give you an understanding of what auger is, how to pour your first plates, and the confidence to do it. Before you know it, you'll totally rock on the lab bench. Yep, that's you. Okay, so what is auger anyways? Auger is a polysaccharide that is generally derived from red algae. A common variety would be from the genera gelidium. Boiling the algae helps to isolate the agarose and agaropectin. These two subunits help comprise the sugar galactose. The three big advantages when pouring your own agar plates, they're ready when you really need them. You can make just what you need and perform all the quality control right in-house. Yeah, that's great if you're just making a few plates as opposed to many of them. When did auger become popular? From around the mid-1800s through the end of the first decade of the 1900, known as the golden age of microbiology. During this time, many advancements in staining and other techniques were discovered, such as gram staining but nothing proved better as a base to grow microbes on than auger. Okay, so enough talking. How do I make this stuff? Well, depending on the type of auger being prepared, generally mixed with water, and using deionized water, of course, then boil to dissolve, and autoclave. Usually, you'll autoclave at 121 degrees Celsius for 12 to 15 minutes. Once the cycle is finished, the auger should be allowed to cool to about 65 degrees Celsius before pouring. This is called tempering the auger. Tempering, or bringing to pouring temperature of 65 degrees Celsius, is often done with the use of a wet bath for a controlled temperature environment. Properly tempered auger will have a smooth viscosity, promoting consistent pouring. Auger provides a superb base and then specific nutrients can be added to suit the needs of the microbiologist. It is also a stable, easy to pour material that allows direct application of bacteria to the surface. In the plate you see here, we're using a technique called streaking to isolate individual strains of bacteria. When agar is ready to pour, it should be at about 65 degrees Celsius. That's great info, you can shout that out aseptic technique. It's worth mentioning that any auger poured into sterile petri dishes needs to be handled with aseptic technique. This simply means don't allow the media to touch or be exposed to any non-sterile items. Sterility means the absence of all living things. Hey, use sterile gloves when pouring media and when plating. So, now you know that you need to Mix your media in water and boil to dissolve. Then either temper and pour or autoclave temper and pour. Then let your plate cool, cover, and refrigerate until needed. Wow, those are some nice plates you poured there. Congratulations, I knew you could do it. If you'd like to receive a free gift below as a thank you from us here at Aquaplates, just click or cut and paste this link. Thanks very much.